We're doing between us centrality. This is this is the brokerage one, which uh, many pe careers have been made off of, frankly. But all right, so I can. I'm going to make this data object called discussion between us. I already have this in here this time, and I'm going because I'm kind of excited about between us centrality. I want to make it a data frame again, so I have one other little step. He he he. Do we have any brokers? Because brokers are potentially useful people for expediting the uh, growth of the network in terms of connections, right? So you have people that are connecting, disconnecting parts of the network. If we do have brokerage roles, then those are the people that can sort of bring people in. Hey, you know, like I see that uh, you're, um, I see, do you know Bob and Sally over here? And the thing is that is you're not always aware that you're actually brokering um, connections. If you are aware, you can use that, and that's really uh, helpful and useful. And a lot of the literature kind of assumes that brokers do know that they're brokering stuff. But in this situation, you're having people come together uh, really for the first time. And so there may be implicit brokerage roles uh, because they're coming from different institutions. But the people themselves may not be aware of them. So if we find brokerage in here, then this would be great to be like, uh, you might be a particularly influential person in this way, and uh, might you introduce X, Y, and Z people to these other people, and so forth and so on. So, so in an, an intervention study like this one, between us is a, is a partic particularly exciting measure. So, of course, I've got to call this what I want to call it. Um, between this as data frame, and I want to call this between this. All right, let's see if there's any variation in this measure. Hopefully, yes. Much more exciting. All right, good. There are first only B, so it's much easier to see it. <laughs> Yes! Wow, there's like, there is variation. There's lots of variation. So there are zeros. There are people on the shortest path nowhere. That's sad. And then there are people, and these are very high numbers because this is the number of paths and this is the, the raw number of paths that they're on. I could uh, standardize this measure, but I have not here. Uh, and we have people on 1,879 paths. So we'll see how exciting that looks when we visualize it. But this suggests that I better scale because if you have zero to 1,000, right, and I just did this raw, the 1,000 would be the sun and would block out everything, All right? So I'm going to have to scale this. And other network packages might do this for you, but this is R, so we have to do this ourselves. But that's okay, at least we're explicit and we know how we're scaling it. There's nothing black box, at least uh, with respect to that. Um, so let me go down here. All right. So I'm gonna, div so here I've already put in the statement, I'm dividing it by 200. This is just a general guess to see uh, we do not have our high between us people blocking out the sun. All right, let's zoom and look. Let's look, look, look. All right. Yes, and not only is there variation, but there's not a million between us people. There's only three uh, high between us people. One of them is a grad student. That's interesting. One of them is a researcher, and then there's another person that I believe is a grad student. So from an interventionist point of view, these are three people I would isolate and sort of talk to and say, hey, um, you know, to do some networking. Now they're towards the center of the graph uh, as we visualize it here, because we have a lot of connections going on here. So I expect if we zoomed in a little bit more, we would see this breakout of these um, uh, individual structures and we'd see a little bit more what, what the, what the segments of the graph they're actually bridging are. But the fact is that we have some people who are highly, that have high between this. It means that 
the, they have the greatest proportion of shortest links are running through them and lots of people who do not. And from an interventionist point of view, that's a, sort of an interesting measure. Um, obviously, we would want to correlate this. So for instance, do people with high betweenness here also uh, feature prominently in the future in joint um, publications or things like that, right? Just because you have high betweenness doesn't mean you're leveraging it, right? So that's another thing is that in this situation, because we have these people coming in, uh, we might actually want to make people aware of this. Now, there are other instances where that is not the right thing to do. <laughs> these people have voluntarily uh, come here. They have a unified purpose. Um, you're, you would make that information known to them. You wouldn't make that information necessarily known outside. Of course, if I this was an HIV uh, network or some other uh, network where the activity could be penalized, uh, I would have I would be very interested in between this. They would still be super important, but I uh, would have many more co uh, confidentiality concerns um, that I would have to think about, and. As researchers, we generally like to focus on the, the, the position itself and its influence on the outcome variable. But um, when it comes to these intervention studies in particular, that borders into uh, ethical concerns about, well, I have this information now that we didn't know about people in the past based on their position in a network, and what do I do with that? And I'm not going to go into depth right now because this is a visualization lab, but for people interested in those topics, there's actually a special edition um, in social networks dedicated to those issues, and I'd highly recommend looking through that uh, special edition. And I expect there'll be a new special edition <laughs> actually on that because this become, continues to be an ongoing issue as we begin getting more information and larger networks.